Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use content aware scale in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode, is all about the content aware scale tool. Now, if you're curious on what that is, basically it's a way for you to stretch the borders of your image. We're gonna show you how to make your image larger, either width or height, and actually add pixels to the image without disrupting the important information that's in the photo. Now, this technique is gonna be best when you have an image with large open space. So if you have a sky you'd like to make larger or you have a, a desert or a lake you'd like to make wider it's going to be perfect if you got a picture of a very highly detailed object and you want to stretch it out that's going to be a little bit harder so keep that in mind as you move forward all right so let's go ahead and jump into photoshop and see this tool at work so here's our image for today we got this from fotolia.com beautiful stock image and uh, i like the square format but i'm thinking you know what, what would this look like as a landscape or maybe as a panorama? I want it to be a bit wider. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab my crop tool and we're gonna extend the boundaries out a little bit wider. So here we've got our crop tool. I'm gonna just click right here on the edge. You know what, let's zoom out a little bit more. Let's click on the edge here and I'm just gonna drag this to the right. Now you can see it's only extending one side of my image. If I hold the Alt or the Option key, it extends both sides of my image at the same time. So you can see I'm able to bring my image out to right about there. All right, that looks pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and hit enter. So after we've extended out our borders, it's time to actually extend out our image. Now I'm gonna show you some of the limitations with the regular transform tool. So let's go ahead and duplicate our background. So I'm gonna hit control or command J to duplicate the background. And now we're just gonna use our move tool and then I'm gonna hit control or command T to bring up transform. Okay, so this brings up our boundaries here. Now I can stretch this out really easily. And if you stretch it out a little bit, it's not gonna make that big of a difference. But if I start stretching it out, like I wanna fill the entire width of our image, we get something like this. We get our guy looks super weird and it, it basically just stretches out the entire image, which we don't want because it's gonna ruin part of your image. So that's not what we want. Now, another option you might think like, oh, let's just grab our like lasso tool and like, let's just, you know, select out just the area we wanna stretch out and try just doing that. So like we've got a, an area selected there. I'm gonna hit control or command T and bring this out. There we go. And it works kind of, but what you wind up getting is you wind up getting stuff like this, where like your selection actually moves with everything that you, it moves with everything. So instead of actually being a smooth transition between the area that you just stretched out, you can see you now have a stretched out area and the regular area underneath it. So that doesn't work either. So now we know we wanna stretch our content horizontally, but we don't wanna mess with the guy and the peer. So we're gonna use content aware scale. So here on my layer, we're gonna go to edit and then down to content aware scale. All right, now here in content aware scale, we've got a couple of options. We've got options for how we wanna move it left and right, our width and our height and by how much. And then we have options for protect and then we have a little protect uh, skin, which we're gonna talk about that in just a second. For now, I just wanna show you how the tool works. So content aware scale, now I'm gonna hold the alt or the option key and we're gonna click and drag this out from left to right. And you're gonna see it's scaling our entire background. It's scaling basically anywhere it sees that there's not a ton of information, it's gonna stretch that. But information that should be vital to the image, like the guy here in the middle, that stays intact. That's what content aware do scale does. It finds the content and it scales it appropriately. Now, let's just see this other version, by the way. <laughs> We're just gonna show you the regular scale version. There we go. So that's just stretching it out, and this is the content aware scale version. You can see it works much, much better. Now, what happens if you wanna isolate just an area? You would wanna make sure you protect a certain area and don't scale that area. Well, that's where the protect comes in. We're gonna show you how to use that now. So you remember, if you go to content aware scale, you got these things up here that say protect, and right now it says none. I don't have any other options. And then we have one that's going to protect for skin tones. Now, in this case, we don't have any skin tones, so that's not gonna do anything. Um, but I do wanna go ahead and protect something. And I'm just like, how do I do it? My only option is none. Um, here's what we do. We need to make a selection of the object you actually wanna protect. So let's go ahead and grab our wand tool here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the outside. Let's, you know what, let's bring our tolerance up here. Um, oftentimes, I actually wanna quote unquote, protect the guy and the dock. Like I don't want those to be part of my selection. Um, but it's easier to just select out the rest of my image instead of try to select out just him, right? 
So I'm selecting out the rest of my image, and then I can invert my selection, which you can do by hitting Shift-Command-I, invert my selection, and now I'm just selected on the man. So now that I have the man and the peer selected, I'm gonna go ahead and load this as a channel. So we're gonna click here on our channels. Right now we have our RGB, we've got red, green, and blue. Now I'm gonna click on the new channel icon and it's go ahead and create alpha one. Now you're like, what does that mean? It, it's basically just a way to get you information in Photoshop that's based on light and dark information. So alpha one is created and it's black, but the guy in the center, I wanna make sure that that's filled with white. So I'm gonna hit shift delete and we're gonna say use white. There we go. So now we have a selection of the guy and the peer and nothing else on the image, right? That, that's all it is. Okay, so we have that in order. Now it's time to jump back to our regular layer and do the content aware scale protecting alpha one. All right, so let's get back to our layer here and we're gonna click on our copy. All right, now it's time to do the same thing. So edit, we're gonna go down to content aware scale. Everything looks the exact same, but now here where it says protect, instead of having the only option being none, I have the option for alpha one, which is just, it's what we just created. If you wanted to call it like dude selection, you could do that too, it really doesn't matter. But it's, it's gonna make sure now to not scale this area. It's because we just said don't do that, so hopefully it listens. All right, so let's go ahead and start bringing this out, and I'm gonna hold alt or option and pull that out from left to right. All right, so we've content to where scaled with protecting the guy here in the middle. And as you can see, he's exactly how he was before and we've really stretched out both the right side and the left side. But because we use the content aware scale, it doesn't look funky, it doesn't look like, you know, it, it looks normal. It looks pretty dang normal actually, which is exactly what you want. And we stretched this out pretty far. So let's go ahead and look at the before and the after. All right guys, here's the before and here's the after. So you can see Content Aware Scale is an awesome tool, especially when you have blank areas on either the sides or the top or the bottom of your photos, you can stretch them out and then print it out and beautifully you have a landscape with no additional work. Very, very cool tool. So the next time you wanna add some width or height to your image, check out the Content Aware Scale. To do so, just select an image that has a decent bit of blank space, either in the sides, the top or the bottom. Next, go to your edit menu and then down to content aware scale. From here, you can grab the edges of your image and just stretch out as you normally would. And if you find there's an area in your photo that you wanna make sure does not get stretched, go ahead and make it into a selection, load it as an alpha channel, and then use the protect feature in the content aware scale to make sure it protects that channel. And lastly, here's a little tip that I find works. Sometimes if you try to scale something like super big, it doesn't work. Like it'll look great till here and then you go a little bit further and it starts to look bad. So just go like halfway and then hit enter and then hit content aware scale and then just do it again. And 99% of the time that takes care of it. So. There we go, content aware scale guys. Thanks so much for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed learning about the content aware scale, be sure to check out our pro tutorials. We have Photoshop 101 and 201. It's our best selling bundle, introduces you to Photoshop and brings you from start to finish on images. We cover everything there is to know about the program, including compositing. If you have any questions about today's episode, please leave them in a comment down below. And if you'd like to learn more from florin.com, just hit that subscribe button on your screen now. We'll send you free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week, because that's what we do. We just sit here and just keep making episodes. As long as you guys keep watching them, I'm just gonna keep on making them. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. We'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. Nope, I don't want this on the screen. <laughs> Um, we're gonna leave it in the intro though, because I nailed the I, I nailed it. <laughs> yeah. Say hi to the camera. I don't know if you're in the frame. Gotta get, get in here. Just gonna get in there later. <laughs> <laughs> I am not out for fame or anything for sure. <laughs> Me either. It just happened. The real life behind Flurn. What really happens? It's real. I'm really doing this. Apparently, we did it. Great success. That was very fast. Hardly any mistakes. Quite a few mistakes. <laughs>